But anyway, here we go. We're going to jump into this. Uh, here we are in the Shanghai Zoo. It's about the halfway point in the game. Uh, the city of Shanghai is under invasion. You don't know why, you don't know who, you don't know what's going on. You just want to get the hell out of here. The Shanghai Zoo is kind of along the way uh, as you're you sitting there trying to escape. So this uh, invading force, as you know, coming through the Shanghai Zoo already, they've killed this elephant and other animals and really, uh, really laid waste to, to, the, to the environment. What's this guy um, As this theme of disaster is reoccurring throughout the game, where you know you have these buildings falling down and the city is getting progressively more destroyed as you move through it. And the idea of a lot of games have these uh, disasters that ha kind of happened 10 minutes ago. You know, you missed all the cool stuff. Well, you know, this in this game, the cool stuff is happening to you, and you're directly involved in it. Um, so as as you move move forward, we're going to show you uh, this first idea of uh, pre-combat uh, in an army of two, the 40th day. Uh, in the first army of two. The enemies existed in the world pretty much to be killed by you. So you, you come in, maybe standing around, and then you just shoot them, they gauge you, you kill them all, and you move on to the next one and rinse repeat. Uh, in, this, uh, this, in this version of the game, um, the enemies are there for their own reasons. They're, they have their own, their own missions. So when you come into the space, you're actually invading on their territory. You're interrupting them. So they have a purpose in the world outside of you guys. They actually don't even know who you are which that, in an interesting way uh, plays into the uh, whole idea of free combat. So this situation, uh, we're going to come into this, this, this hippo pen here. There's a bunch of guys uh, patrolling with this plane that just recently crashed. And uh, we're going to have a chance to, uh, they don't know we're here yet, so we're going to have a chance to snipe them one by one and uh, greatly, uh, greatly diminish the odds against us in the, in the next firefight. So as this guy moves across, I'm going to let him do his little thing. See if he's going to stop and then I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot. And I look, all of his buddies are facing that way. That guy that on there is facing also away from us. They can't see him, and I have a silent, a silent sniper rifle. So if I do a well-placed headshot, it's like, oh, easy big guy. Oh, he's moving again. Oh, I missed him. I missed him, and now he knows I'm there. I got him. But now they know we're there with my poor marksmanship there. I'm, I've been uh, drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> so now, we're, now we have to engage. And uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult to be able to take them out. So obviously aggro is still very prevalent in the uh, in the game. If I move up here, you can see our aggro meter at the top there, and we're going to be we're going to be fighting these guys. We can use this kind of the aggro to move through this kind of situation here, this firefight, uh, which is going to be pretty challenging right now. 